Come here, son, nephew, young man. Let me holler at you. You have to go with performance over potential. Everybody's got potential. Not everybody's going to reach their full potential. And I'm talking about friendships, relationships, business relationships, but most importantly, and first and foremost, yourself. So you got to lead the people around you by example, and you set the standard, a realistic standard of how you do all things with you exercising your full potential by way of performance first. The time you spend sleeping and resting, the time you wake up, the effort that you put in when you do things, the type of people you surround yourself with and uh, who you associate with. Do you read at all? What type of information do you read? Okay, you spend a lot of time, maybe you're in a vehicle a lot like me. What type of information are you absorbing? If you can't read the book, you can get a, uh, you can get an e-book. You can, you can absorb information. You can learn about finances, you can learn about business, you can learn about psychology, and I'm not giving any official business uh, advice or uh, official um, mental health information, but you can establish what's going on in your head. You can measure your performance. Are you saving? Are you investing? Do you have money left over to do the things you need to do? Do you need another job? Do you need to be more efficient at your practices? Do you need to hire an employee? You got to perform. You got to have a standard of performance. You have to establish a baseline and measure your current performance against past performance. Then you need to estimate future performance. You're dealing with people who you want to hire. Okay. Performance. What have you done? Not what can you do. You say you can do something cool. Show me some credentials. If you ain't got some credentials, you better have some damn good work samples and some damn good references. You hire that person based on what they say they can do. Don't be surprised when it doesn't get done. And don't you be a I can do person either. You well, you 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 say that you can as a measure of confidence. But when somebody asks you, can you prove what you can do? You need to have work samples. You need to have a portfolio. You need to have a body of work, whatever it may be. You're going to deal with the woman. Okay, fine and dandy. Yeah, she could be a good woman. How she carry herself? Does she keep her house clean first and foremost? Is she in shape? Does she take care of herself? Now, granted, again, you got to do your own performance standards first and foremost. If you don't do these things, it's going to be very hard to ask that of a woman. But okay, let's say you got your stuff together. All right, my dear, but what kind of what kind of value? And you might not be asking these questions, but you sure are measuring. You're observing. How does she fit into the overall scheme of things? What can she add here? Does she follow instructions? If you got a program together. Now, I had to share with somebody I was mentoring a while back. He said, man, Mr. Renaissance, man, this woman ain't performing. I said, okay, well, what are the performance standards? What what have you tasked her uh, to be a part of in your life? What's your role for her? He didn't define that. So I'm like, bro, you can't, you can't expect performance if you hadn't uh, assessed what performance actually is. What does performance look like? Almost like a damn job description. Um, but she's got to have some good habits and some good previous performance. Not necessarily, Women think it's about education and degrees. Man, men don't give a damn about your degree. Uh, that benefits you. I mean, it means you can re regurgitate some book knowledge. But I tell you, when I started applying skill, uh, people skill, psychological skill, leadership skill, and then... Um, a form of a blue collar craft trade that's when uh, I started bringing more value to our uh, our family corporation nonetheless this woman got to bring some value into her, your life and you got to be able to measure past performance and then you have to be able to say okay hey dear 
Um, you know, that's cool. You want to go on dates and you want to go on vacations and all this BS. Okay, well, here, here's the projects we need to complete. Then we'll look at goofing off and playing. Now, fellas, this is going to be the hard part for a lot of y'all. A lot of women are going to bow out when you say, okay, we got to perform first, then we'll play. We got to meet our full potential first, then play. Not untapped potential, not later. This is our agenda. We're going to get this much done by this date. Timelines matter in all of this, gentlemen. Timelines matter. You make sure you perform it by, uh, you set timelines for yourself as well. I did a um, consulting call. I paid a consultant to give me some direction with some projects I got going. And it is worth paying an expert for information so you can get straight to the point. Nonetheless, um, this person reminded me, okay, Mr. Renaissance man, you set some timelines for yourself and you make sure you're reaching your timelines. If not, reassess, then readjust if things aren't going on the timeline that you that you set for yourself. Anyway, I'm going on a little bit too long here. I think you get the gist of it. Performance, performance, performance. Potential don't mean jack. Performance. What has been done, based on what has been done, what do you expect to be done? Then you make sure that gets done and go back, wash, rinse, and repeat. And as always, never lose the will to win, never lose the will to survive.